In 2008, the East Bay Express ran a story headlined, The Last Days of the Raiders. Could it be that day has finally come? In what seems like a last gasp effort for Oakland, developer Floyd Kephart finally unveiled his plan for commercial development and multiple stadia at the Oakland Coliseum site. The goal? Develop East Oakland and keep the A's, Warriors, and Raiders all in town. No easy task for three teams with wandering eyes for other cities in California. There were no fancy videos, PowerPoint slides, or even an overhead projector at the Jack London Square meeting organized by Save Oakland Sports. Just a pair of poster boards with basic renderings of what could be. The biggest revelations from Kephart at the presentation? For one, his belief that there is no better than a 50-50 chance of making the project a reality. But he estimates a 70 to 80% chance of success if the city can buy out Alameda County's part ownership of the land at the Coliseum site. He also proposes raising $300 million with a conduit bond at no risk to the city and county, with monies raised through tax revenues on commercial activities, such as stadium naming rights. Kephart also said he doesn't blame fans for giving up hope at the apparent lack of progress in Oakland, compared with the momentum generated by the NFL's rival projects in Los Angeles. Nonetheless, fans and community leaders at the meeting were eager to find a silver lining. You know, there's been uh, much written about his plan, Mr. Kephart's plan, that you know people had had a chance to ask questions about. I think he, a few, at least for me personally, he uh, dispelled a lot of rumors about a, buy, you know, he's going to buy the Raiders, which he said he's not going to do. Um, other, where the money was going to come from, he didn't give specifics, but he also said, you know, some kind of parameters, and he kind of laid out kind of the lay of the land, what's going on. So I think it was a very positive uh, meeting today. Well, of course, you know, I'm optimistic, but um, I do reside of, to, to caution, you know, because this is a process and there's a lot of moving parts. But at the end of the day, I think there's a plan in action. And for that reason alone, I'm behind it and I'm positive. If any of the, um, any of the teams leave from Oakland, it's like it's not going to be the same. People are going to lose their jobs. There's going to be more crime in Oakland, more sideshows. And none of us want any of that, you know. And I have spent a lot of time and energy in trying to figure out a way uh, how to save uh, our sports franchises. Um, and so it's important. It's important to me. It's important to my district. It's important to the residents of the city of Oakland. It's important to uh, all the A's, the Raiders, and the Warriors fans. While the A's seem content to wait and be the last man standing, the fate of the Raiders will likely be decided between October 2015 and January 2016. That leaves little time for the city, county, and Kephart to pull off a last-second victory, just like the Raiders of old. At Jack London Square, I'm Omar Morales.